Well, that lady's coming at you. <laughs> That's right. How are you today? <clears throat> this is Sean, and I'm Amy. This is Amy. <laughs> I'll introduce you if you introduce me. Right. <laughs> oh, we are having one of those mornings. Where's the stress away? Stat 911. Uh-oh. Where's it at? I don't need it. All right. Um, so Am I stressing you out? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no. You're making me laugh. Oh, you're a hoot. Um, we are talking oilies. We're actually back for part two of our, so I got my kit. Now what? The heck do I do with my kit? Mm. Um, and we did, last time we did the... Um, the single oils and one of the blends, which is Stress Away. Um, and now we're doing the blends, yes. the rest of the blends. Uh, which one is your favorite out of RC, Diagize, Thieves, Panaway, Purification? Which one's your fave? Mm. I always throw on the spot like this and I, it's just, it's fun. <laughs> I think the smell for me, I like RC the best. Okay. I enjoy it. Yeah. And I'll just... Put it in my diffuser sometimes. Mm. It's got that sweet smell. I'm a sweet smell girl. You're a sweet girl. Um, and Thieves is mine. Mm -hmm. Superpower. Thieves is my superpower. I love me some Thieves. Mm. We use, I use it daily. But I also love to put it in the diffuser too because it kind of has that sweet smell. And you smell. order it monthly. I do. It's our one thing, which is why I got on ER, was because I wanted to... I knew it was going to use these every Essential rewards. Months. Essential rewards. Yeah, ER. It don't does, you know what ER is? It's a place you go when you broke your, your leg or something. Right. Oh, that's mm. so true. Well, it is my ER. Is that... Can I say that? I don't know. It's my go-to instead of the... When was the last time you were at the doctor? Oh, it's been a while. Like months? Like over a year. Mm. Yeah. Young living. Young Seriously, living. I know. Happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the kids, too. Like, we haven't gone. We did go whenever we were in Florida. But that, other than that, I mean, it has been for sickies. It's mm -hmm. been a while. So, which is excellent. Um, which ends up saving you money. Okay. That was a beautiful segue. I know you've got your kit, but you need to be using it now. Word up. Mm -hmm. If you need to know how, that's why we're here. Yes, for sure. And we want to educate you and we can always be reached by email or we can be reached um, by phone check out our website yldist.com backslash to t-w-o fat f-a-t ladies and where are we fat because we're faithful available and teachers yes we are it stands for something yeah for sure it's a little acronym image um is that a new that's a new word that's an acronym image i love it <laughs> i get it all right, RC. So that's your favorite to diffuse. And I, I diffuse mm -hmm. that whenever we've got the yucks. Um, and that's actually Savvy's favorite. Joy and RC are Savannah's go-to. Um, and I love that she knows that it makes her feel better. And she knows when she needs it. Yes, for sure. And so um, RC gives relief. What is it called? What is it? I'm reading. <laughs> um, respiratory comfort is what it stands for. Well, it's what we, we named it. Yeah, RC is respiratory comfort. Um, really from cold. Oh, we can't say everything, but um, it gives you respiratory comfort. Mm. Just trust us. It's good stuff. It's for your bronchial tubes, yes. your throat, your mm -hmm. sinuses. Support for that area. And your lung system. Yeah. And it has myrtle, eucalyptus globulus, marjoram. Ooh, marjoram. That's um, that's a happy oil. I love me some marjoram. I actually just put some on this morning. Pine, eucalyptus, triadora. I love that one. <laughs> Lavender, <laughs> cypress, eucalyptus radiata, mm. spruce, and peppermint. I like some woodsy scents. Um, you yeah. do? Mm. I prefer the sweet. Mm. Well, give me pine any day of the week. Especially, mm. yeah, we'll go into the mm. northern lights pine at some so other point. So do you think this would be good for... <clears throat> allergies. Yeah, definitely. Allergies when you're feeling the yucks, definitely put it in the diffuser. Make a salve. You can totally make a salve, and it doesn't have to be where you get the beeswax out and all that stuff. Put some coconut oil, um, get, like in a glass jar, like a little mason jar, and put a couple drops of RC in it and rub it as a salve over your chest. That's wonderful. Mm. Um, on the back you say salve, I'm saying salve. Salve. Oh, it's a salve. It's a <laughs> I'm from feet. the north. She's from the south. <laughs> um, but on your feet. It's wonderful to rub on your feet. Oh, I love how these videos go. <laughs> Oy vey. Um, yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay, what's next? What's next? Tell me. Digize. 
Um, I know. And, you know, Sean and I were having a discussion about that digize. I thought, you know, really the only way I've ever used it is putting a drop on your belly, rub it in the, in the way of digestion. But we also found that it supports for healthy bowels. And I think people are, I have no problem talking about poop. I could talk about poop all day long. It's a natural bodily function. We all do it. We all need it. And it makes your body function much better. So um, it helps that. It supports a healthy bowel. And I think people are learning about that because they're putting um, like probiotics and things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, Dietrise isn't just good whenever you have a tummy ache. Mm -hmm. It's good as a, would we say, preventative? Yes, Absolutely. Yeah, and or if you have some bugs that you need to get rid of, mm, or that yes. So um, <clears throat> if you've never filled a gel cap, these little um, cap capsules, um, vegetarian capsules, mm, mm, shadow. Okay, um, you can easily do that. So you pull it apart, and I have done it where I do it like. 20 at a time, just however many you've got. Um, oh, can I open this? This is brand new. I don't want to open it if you're mm -hmm. not. Open. Okay. You went through your other one? Good for you, girl. It's got the roller ball on it, and it's up by my bed. Oh. If I get a burning so sensation, I wear it. Yeah. Or if I've eaten something I shouldn't uh, have, I wear it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so, can this, go? this is new. This is like a little tiny pipette, and this is Digize. You like it, the licorice. That's I wouldn't. Favorite. It's okay. I like it now because it's helped me so many times. Oh. I've grown to love it. But let me tell you, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it in my diffuser. It's not gonna. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, no. It's not a diffusing one. I wouldn't make a bath bomb with it no, either. I don't know how many how many drops is, but this like fit right in there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I've not used this before, if you can't tell. Um, but I just do one, two, three. I would do like. Three drops is probably about enough. Um, it's strong. It's, it's very strong. And three drops is probably mm. like a borderline. We'll just see how my, my system goes later today. Maybe this is, you know, this is God speaking to me. Listen, sister, I need a little something, something. So anyway, you put the cap back on. And if you don't, if you want to make 20 at a time, and I've done this whenever I've done the grapefruit, lemon, peppermint to kind of help your body system all day long. But I don't want to make one every morning. I want to go take it like a supplement. Um, you can put it in the freezer. So I just put a glass bowl in the freezer, make a bunch of them up, and pop them in there. And you can just grab it from there and go, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Are you going to take this right now? I love it. Why not? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Lemon water. Mm. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that affects my system later. It's good. I would say two drops of digest, you're probably good to go. Um, so that's digest. So if you've got the um, something uncomfortable after you eat a great big meal, um, mm -hmm. and you know what's interesting, I used to um, babysit, oh, I loved the Brants, and Karen Brant, if you're watching this, I miss you tons, and um, you're amazing, because, ugh. Oh, and the Bowens. Anyway, um, they were from, her sister was from Germany, and so after they would go and um, live it up and have an awesome time, they would come home, and she would immediately take her bitters. Um, yeah. It's called, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but I can, put, I can post it later after I find out. And I've taken it for years after that, and you would get it at the German market, and it would just kind of help everything flow better after... You know, eating a big meal, drinking mm -hmm. a lot of drinks. My brother lives in Germany, and they eat an apple a day to literally keep the doctor away. Yeah. They open their windows, and it's cold over there, mm -hmm. to keep the fresh air going. Yes. Um, so important. They really are way more homeopathic than we are. Yeah. Well, and after I discovered, rediscovered oils again, I had had the, I'm, I can't remember if I forgot the name of it, but I'll, I'll find it. Undeberg. Undeberg is what it's called. Um... But I, I'm like, oh, this is bitters. This is what she mm. used. So that, so the equivalent of that to me in oils would be diatrize. You can put a little here if you're feeling a little um, stuck. I don't know what the nice word is to say. But um, that would be the equivalent mm -hmm. in oils okay. for that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so next is pan away. Oh, I love pan away. And mm. you've had some success with pan away. What's your success with pain? Yes. I have sciatica in my right hip, and 
after walking or standing for a while. Remember the, the run oh, at the convention? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, uh, it gets tight. Ooh, really tight. And, and pretty fast. It does. It's amazing. Yeah. And so uh, putting some pan away right there on the hip. And P.S., we had it in a roller ball while we were walking because we know that um, to help it release. I forgot that until you just said the, the mm-hmm. walk run, but yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so roll it on whatever is tightening up. And uh, you said something about joints? Yes. And my girlfriend puts it on the bottom of her feet. She'll put a drop on the bottom of each foot. I thought foot. I was your girlfriend. You are my girlfriend, but I have another girlfriend. <laughs> oh, no. Um, what's what's an oil for competitiveness? Ah. I'm, I've got the harmony over here. Yeah. In the different Harmony lesson. going. Get it, girl. Um, so, my, a friend of mine uh, puts a drop on the bottom of her feet. And here's the cool thing is that we can notice a difference, but her chiropractor asked her within a couple weeks of her using it mm-hmm. what she's doing differently. That is huge mind blown because if somebody else before you tell them what you're doing and especially a chiropractor who knows how things have been going mm-hmm. she's been going to him for years and he can immediately see something within a couple of weeks because she's doing this one thing and she's sticking mm-hmm. with it too which is great because she knows how it makes her feel but it also helps you know you're using one drop or two drops and how many is in a bottle when you get this kit? Okay, so the five milliliters, which come in the kit, are 80 to 100 drops. Um, and whenever you upgrade ya, upgrade ya, you get the um, 15 milliliter, which, you know, whenever you run out, you may run out of lemon first. You may run out of Panaway first, and then mm. typically you'll reorder. And there's five mils of some of them. But if you go to the 15 mil, it has 280 to 300 drops in it. Um... Like you just know that right off so the top. Sometimes, sometimes I retain. Um, <laughs> we're just never sure when. <laughs> <laughs> Do a purification. I, didn't say it. I know you did it, girl. <laughs> I was feeling it. Purification. Pure. Okay, so Ooh. this is going to be um, the oil that we use most whenever it's warm outside. Because mm. you're outside more, planting the garden or sweep, but whatever you're doing outside. Um, mm-hmm. It helps with outdoor annoyances. So whenever you're at the soccer field and you know, the kids are playing, you're going to put a little sprayer in your purse. I wouldn't leave it in the car because you don't want the light to break down the oils and their properties. Because um, that will happen in the sunlight and the heat. Um, what do I have? Uh, oh, she's so fancy. Essential oils desk reference. Everybody should have this. I agree. It's on my wish list for sure. Um, How many years have you been doing this? Well, really, I only got back into it like a year and a half ago. I want to give you something. Um, so purification. She's like the giviest person I've ever met in my entire life. Like, it's amazing. Um, so sweet. So purification, you're going to have... This is yourself. Right? She's like, get your own book. Okay, I have it. Oh, that, thanks, honey. Okay. I'm on Go back right to where now. I was. I don't know if I can get back to where purification's at. Oh, find um, it. It's on page 216. Oh, Hang on, let me get my fancy book. 216. <laughs> Boom chakalaka, just like that. Thanks, honey. Mm-hmm. You're so good to me. You're so sweet. And there it is in the fancy new book. Hang on, let me read. <laughs> Purifying blend cleanses and disinfects the air and neutralizes mildew, cigarette smoke. Hey, my girlfriend mm-hmm. was asking about that. And disagreeable odors. I love how they say disagreeable odors. Teenage boys. <laughs> <we> all- <laughs> Socks, Chris. Um, actually, speaking of odors, I take a drop on a cotton ball and throw it. We have a 
the front closet, like our coat closet, I put oh, it. Um, no. Yeah, I put a shoe holder that has pockets in it. Mm-hmm. So we all, because, you know, the kids, I'm like, get your shoes off. And they can't find them. So we have pockets. I take a couple drops on a cotton ball and throw it in the closet because mm-hmm. it's all shoes. Like, it's going to stink. That's a great idea. Thank you. So it's not just outdoor mm-hmm. annoyances. It's smelly stuff. Um, I'm just, I'm cloud nining. Um, it disinfects and cleans cuts, scrapes, and bites from spiders, bees, hornets, and wasps. It has citronella, lemongrass, mm-hmm. which lemongrass, mm. it, just do your due diligence research on lemongrass because it's such an amazing oil. Mm-hmm. Um, rosemary, Melaleuca altifolia, um, alterfo- alternifolia, don't count off for my grammar, guys, <laughs> lavender <laughs> and myrtle. Um, which have excellent properties. And it suggests, I'm so excited that I can read this. It suggests um, dilute one part of the essential oil into the V6 oil complex. You can diffuse, directly inhale, mm-hmm, mm. or add two to four drops to bath water. You know what? I bet after we're, because, you know, the mosquitoes in Texas don't mess around. And I'm always... And always got that nasty... What is it? The virus. Yeah, um, it's gross. Start with a Z. Mm-hmm. Um, Zika. Mm-hmm. Um, apply on locations to cut sores, bruises, or wounds. Four mm-hmm. to eight drops on a cotton ball. Um, and you says you can put into vents, too. Okay, you want to show them your cute little project that you're going to be doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's very necessary since we're talking about this oil. And add two drops to a wet cloth and put in a clothes dryer. Now, I just saw something that one of the bloggers did, and she puts um, on a washcloth and puts it in the dryer. And people are raving about this. I have not done this. Um, But after reading all the reviews, really, I need to. um, Because they said it makes such a difference when their clothes come out. What are you talking about? I didn't know that. Yes. Seriously? Yes, girl. Mm-hmm. I'll have to show you the You're just a wealth of information. You don't even need this book. Oh, you're so funny. Oh, I definitely do. Oh, you're just going to get too smart for your own like, self. So, um, yeah. Never. Look how cute this is. So this is dollars. the dollar bin at our favorite store. Dollar Spot Target. And it has these cute little clips. Are they chalkboard? Yes. They're precious. I'm not even standing here. I'm going to rip this. this. Yeah, rip it. I'll okay. cut it. No, no. Are you a ripper? No, I'm, I've, this is not my first rodeo. It should have, oh, maybe it is my first rodeo. It's okay. Keep talking about, how about that? Yeah. You were talking about just putting oil on a cotton ball? Boom, chakalaka. Mm-hmm. Put a drop or two. You can pin it somewhere. Where would you pin this? I could pin this, like you said, in the closet. Mm-hmm. Where like we, on a wire hanger. Ooh. Yes. We hate those things. I know. Anyway, that's another story. Yeah. That's um, another show altogether. How about an event in a car? Yes. Definitely. And it would clip right on your How car long would it last? Um, you know, I don't know because I've not tried it. I need to. But I bet it would smell amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I would start with the drop. And... Just until it runs out. When it runs out, you can either put another one on there or put a yeah. new one on. It's a fun little clip. Absolutely. It's precious. Um, but, you know, speaking of essential oils in the car, um, mm. I posted something the other day. We, whenever we do road trips. That was hilarious. <laughs> we ride with the diffuser going. Because I can't believe it. In. Yeah. Looked like y'all were doing a bong in the car. Listen, we were having an excellent time. I can't believe we just said that on camera. We were having well, the an smoke excellent. was just a... Fill in the car. And let me tell you, we were on cloud nine in traffic coming between Dallas oh, and Austin. Bad. And, you know, it can be crazy. So the kids were just as happy as can be. Now, are we there yet? No, we didn't hear that because they were chilling like a villain. I mean, it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, so we definitely use essential oils in the car. Mm-hmm. And purification would be awesome to use on that. Or stress away if you're in mm-hmm. Austin during South by Southwest. Mm, right? Yeah. Which is now. Yes. Um... Okay, Mm-mm-mm. so your list is under your, your book. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna... Oh, don't touch your book. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just, you know. So we got them all. Um, we do. Yeah, so that's yeah. what's in your kit. You have the singles at the last video and with one of the blends. And we knew we wanted to keep this one blends, but a couple, um, you know, 
keep it simple because there's so many in the blends, so many different oils in the blends, and they do so much. Mm -hmm. So I talked a smidgen about thieves, but I really want to end on thieves mm -hmm. because when I say it's my superpower and that I use it every day, I absolutely do. <clears throat> it has helped so much. It's got a bad rap with the name, though. Yes, but do you know why it has the name? Of course you do. Tell us. Okay. So during the bubonic plague, there was a band of thieves that were rob that would rob the dead and the dying, and the um, king was losing his men, and said, "Capture these dudes! I need to find out what's up." And so, mm -hmm. capture them. He said, "I will give you pardon if you tell me what you're doing. My army is dropping like flies. I have to know how are you surviving the plague? How are you robbing these people?" Mm -hmm. And they said, "Well, we're from long line of spice traders, and we know what spice is to wear on us, in us, around us." in order to not get the plague, the plague, the black plague. Um, and what are those? What's in Thieves? Oh my gosh, you're putting me on the spot. Rosemary? Yeah. Cinnamon? Yeah. Clove? Oh, can't forget clove. Mm -mm. Lemon and eucalyptus. So which, those five. which eucalyptus do we know? Well, you know what? Let me, re let me reference my fancy new book. It's not going to be far from there. It's not. Mm -hmm. Um, eucalyptus radiata. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's all kinds of good, and I can't repeat these because the FDA says that I can't, but um, get your own amazing book or get yourself a friend. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's an incredible giver. Um, so yes, it has an amazing, oh, tell me what, tell me what you read before. I haven't. I oh, just okay. noticed that something about Weber State University or Weber in... Utah, uh huh. During 1997, demonstrated the killing power of these amazing oils against airborne microorganisms. The analysis showed that after 10 minutes, I don't even know what this is going to say next, but I know it's amazing. 10 minutes of these diffusion in the air, there was an 82% reduction in the gram positive Microcus lutus organism. Interesting. Bioaerosol at 96% reduction in gram negative. I don't know how to even pronounce that organism. And 44% reduction in the S or S bioaerosol. Mm -hmm. um, I may not know what those organisms are, but if there's a reduction in the bad organisms, that's all we need to know. Mm -hmm. Thieves is incredible. Um, I have it. Actually, we went to the thinker the other day, and after the kids put their hands in that disgusting water, um, that, listen, they like to play on the water stuff, and I get it, but I have my Thieves spray. We wash our hands, and I sprayed on them, mm -hmm. and because there's been a couple times where we've gone, and they've gotten sick afterwards, mm -hmm. um, because, you know, there I don't know how many field trips of kids are in there, and there's just kids, I mean, there's gunk. So I spray them down with Thieves, and let me tell you, it has made a world of difference, and we go to the doctor. And I so. spray on my phone. Oh, and on so my smart. keyboard, well, you told me that. Oh, did I? But I am smart to do it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that thief spray is excellent too. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you've I got the kit. Yes, and welcome to welcome to the oily world. Um, it's good stuff. Okay, I think we talked their ear off plenty. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Go with the oils. Yes. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Love and switches. I'm going to dive into my new book. <laughs>